Well, today's Wellness Wednesday. We're looking forward to a sunny day, but we have to take precautions. And Sonia Azad is live on the patio this morning to help us avoid those sunburns. Good morning, Sonia. Hey, good morning, you guys. Yeah, I'm trying to get a, a, a little shade here myself. I'm with Dr. Corinne Erickson. She's with North Dallas Dermatology. And um, first off, there are so many options when it comes to sunscreen. How do you know what to look for or what may not help as much? Sonia, you're exactly right. Going into a drugstore and buying sunscreen has become a complete conundrum. So I want to break it down and make it really easy for you. There's two things you need to look for. Number one is the number, the SPF, and that's referring to UVB protection. That needs to be 30 or higher. You really don't need to go over 50. That's not adding any significant protection, but 30 or higher keeps you safe. The other thing you need to look for is that it says broad spectrum. Broad spectrum indicates that it's blocked you from UVA as well as UVB rays. Both contribute to cancer and photo aging, so it's important to make sure you tackle those two. Okay, I want to get to your baby beach bags because there's new information out there that says, hey, don't take infants in the sun at all. You're a mom of two little ones. You're like, that's not practical. So yes, in an ideal world, Babies under six months don't need to be exposed. They need to stay out of the sun between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. But when you have an older sibling, sometimes you have to know you need other options. Yeah. So really helpful things to do for those little tiny ones. Sun protective clothing with UPF 50 can help keep them safe without exposing their skin to chemicals and sunscreen. Keep them in the shade. Use things like sun protective blankets over their car seats or put them in a tented cabana area. Um, don't forget eye protection. Aww, Very yeah. important for the little ones <laughs> to protect their little eyes from UV rays. Okay, and Dr. Erickson, I just want to mention one thing she said that that's really important. Five sunburns before the age of 20 can increase your chance of melanoma by 80%, Ron and Kara. That's right. So the majority of our sun exposure does happen in childhood. And as parents of little ones, it's our responsibility to keep our kids safe and teach them those practices of sun safety starting at an early age. Because that five sunburn between age 20 can make a big difference. Melanoma is only 2% of skin cancer, but it represents 80% of deaths from skin cancer. Okay, Dr. Erickson, thank you so much. Ron and Kara, back over to you. I'm afraid most of us have probably had those five sunburns. So. Yeah, especially if you grew up in the in the 70s, we just didn't know enough about it, right? Yeah, with the information now, you can take those precautions like she shared with us. Um, this